A well-wisher in Nairobi's Kibera Woodley Estate has offered its four-bedroom bungalow to children living in the area to undertake their studies because they cannot go to school due to the ongoing teacher strike. Yeah, these kids, are, these ones are standard uh, two, and uh, this one are standard three, and then this ones are standard four, and then two and one are these ones that are sitting down. So this is yeah. standard one and two? Yes, this is standard one and two, then these are standard three, and then this one's standard four. Yeah. Do you know how many there are? Yes. How many are they? The total number that we have here right now is 153. As we walk into the tightly filled rooms, the children's desire of acquiring knowledge is obvious. They don't mind squeezing on the few available chairs or even on the floor. All they care about is some space to study. He tells us of the overwhelming support he has been receiving from well-wishers who provide cooking services and also make food donations. Here is somebody's uh, kitchen and uh, because they, uh, he saw what we are doing and the congestion that was there, he volunteered to give his entire house because it was there. So that is why you see this house can host 153 kids inside. How many bedrooms does it have? Yeah, this house is having around four, four bedrooms mm -hmm. with a sitting room. Mm -hmm. And as you have seen, all of them are occupied. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen uh, you classify them. Mm -hmm. so can you just uh, mention how you uh, decided to fit them in all in the bedrooms? Yes, uh, because uh, you know when it, we go with the classes and also the number of kids. So we said, okay, these ones are many, we can put them in sitting room, the way you see we have done with standard three and fours, mm. then other rooms are occupied with, standard, with other classes. Mm. Yeah. In Kibera's Karanja area, a church whose management appealed for anonymity has also offered its garage and some rooms to 60 high school students in the area. Days, weeks, and almost a month have passed by and the hope of reporting back to school for the third term is fading away after the government closed schools and announced new term dates. Even as we bid the children in Kibera goodbye, the desperation of education leaves one with a heavy heart. One can only hope that the strike will soon come to an end to give these little angels a chance to build their dreams and fulfill their ambitions. For Capture TV, I am Judy Caberia. Hey, I'm a summer high. Hi. I'm a summer high.